As a YouTuber, every time a ban list is gonna come out, every one of your videos you record ahead of time might just get deleted. You know, you make a deck profile or this local Chronicles video and then a ban list drops and one of the cards you play is banned and now the video goes poof. So this week when I was building my deck for locals, I was thinking, maybe I just ban Sanctifier and Gimmick Puppet Nightmare and take Branded. So that's what I did and it was a lot of fun. If you want to see the deck list, check out my Twitter in the description below. The deck list, the full one, is right over there. I actually had a blast testing out some new tags, going back to Ad Libidim, and of course, Light and Darkness Dragon Lord, the card of this tournament. It was so, so much fun to play. So yeah, another Local Chronicles. If you like this series, make sure to follow, subscribe, turn on the bell to know when the next episode go live. I actually make these quite a lot and I'm really enjoying making this series. So make sure you leave a comment below letting me know what you think. Yeah, we are jumping on into round one versus Kastira. Enjoy. So let's go into game one versus Kastira. I lose the die roll and they combo off. You know, there's not a lot that this deck can do, but having access to things like Prosperity, Banishing face down, birth. Branded sometimes had a really hard time versus Kashtira, just because both decks are really grindy, so you have to outgrind them. So I start off with normal summoning Cartesia because I have an option to activate opening and special summon the other target. But what I do is actually add the tragedy to the hand so I can allure. I have two allures. Thankfully, Ash is the first one, so you know. I have to <laughs> resolve that. I draw two cards, I draw into a Dark Ruler, but I also get a search off of Tragedy. I activate Lubellion here and they chain Call by the Grave. Now I will activate Cartesia, fuse away to Granginol, and now I dump off Titanic Lad because in the end phase I can start picking apart the board and then I get a Mirror Jade on the board. Now, I did suspect that the set was a Cosmic since it wasn't activated and uh, I think it was a mistake to set the in red. But um, alas, I do still have interruptions. They activate Birth off the top, which is literally the only card that could save them there. And we, we will start grinding here. So they clear off my board. Um, they banish the Mirror Jade. I activate the Aluber to negate the Unicorn so I don't get another card rip from my extra deck. And then during the end phase, I bring back the Cartesia. Normal summon the Aluber here. Uh, I'm not playing around an Imperm, so I don't want to force out interruptions with the special summoning of Cartesia. I don't want it to get banished. Um, I go for the branded fusion. They banish so two Albas face down from my graveyard, but I do manage to get into the Borload Spurious because I need to pop the birth. They try to banish it and then I fuse it away with Cartesia because it needs to just destroy the cards um, and it will still resolve. Lava Golem hits my field, and of course they have Prosperity, which gets them another birth. So fun. So uh, yeah, we combo off once again. I really don't have anything, but thankfully I do know that this Albion is probably going to go into the graveyard at some point, and possibly I'm not going to die. I'm still at full life at this point, and uh, we calculate some damage. Big Eye takes my Albion, and then during the standby phase, I, I, I have to activate my Lava Golem, and then they rip a card from the extra deck and banish face down. I go for Quem. Quem grabs uh, Retribution from the deck, which gets me Branded Fusion. I go into Lubellion here, which I just need to get a Dark into the graveyard. Um, now I'm able to crash into the Albion, summon back the Aluber. And all this just to get myself a copy of Branded Banishment, which can now sort of clear up the board and put a big, big body. Light and Darkness Dragon Lord. Absolutely amazing. They crash into it with a Fenrir. Now when it's destroyed, it can summon any dragon from the graveyard. And now he's down on life points. He paid a lot and he took a lot of damage. And now I can pop and uh, yeah, out grinded Kashtira and Light and Darkness Dragon Lord is just really, really good. They start off um, game two with Prosperity, of course. Full setup, three sets. That's kind of scary. I go for the Allure of Darkness, banishing the Mercurier. Mercurier grabs me a copy of Cartesia Thrust because they activated Changri Era to grab a Duster, which they pay half their life points to negate. Albion is going to jump Dumpa Alba, so Cartesia is live. Then I can go into um, Special Summoning uh, Aluber and uh, I get hit with Skill Drain. So I do have one set. They don't really get to play a lot because they're under Skill Drain too. So. I have the perfect play since I hard drew in red, which is so, so good. I send Albion the Shroud Dragon so that I can activate Lubellion, chain in red, grab the Albion, make a Light and Darkness Dragon Lord, which is bigger than any of their monster, and Lubellion still gets to resolve. I just have big, big bodies on the board, 
full control, more attack that they can put into the board. And at this point, it's just grabbing bodies back with birth and surviving for a turn or two until we pick it up. 2-0, we go into round number two. Round number two, I start and I go for Quem, which uh, I can only send uh, Branded Fusion for because I ha only have duplication. Um, and I believe maybe the other set is Eclipse. We'll see in a second. So that's the only play I have, but I decide to full shotgun everything as early as possible. Lubelion gets hit with the droplet here, and now I have Branded in red to go into Light and, Light and Darkness Dragon Lord, which is uh, obviously good. I honestly thought he was playing Flandries, the Playmat, and the Field Center, but no, it's actually Tenpai. Uh, and uh, yeah, this Branded Lost should have been destroyed because of Darkness, uh, Light and Darkness Dragon Lord. But honestly, it doesn't matter. I kind of bricked game one, didn't get enough engine, and it's just not enough against Tenpai, unfortunately. Just got my ass beat by, you know, any summon from their deck. Um, sometimes it's really frustrating, but this is the deck in the moment. I was like on zero resources, and uh, yeah, we were figuring out some damage step stuff, but eventually I have to pack it up after um, winning the die roll. I let him go first game two, Prosperity. Uh, I ash that because I don't want him to get to like a rivalry or something. Debeary in the draw phase, chain cross out designator. Again, the deck list is on Twitter, so you can check it out. Lost, branded fusion gets hit with Ash Blossom. I go for a Quem here, which gets hit with Chalice. And uh, yeah, I basically just attack for 2000. And um, yeah, I hold the Eclipse. They don't draw anything. And I top deck Luber, which they have no response to. And uh, yeah, we go again. He lets me go first. Now, I want you guys in the comments to tell me how I lost this because I had so, so much on the board. I decide to go for a pretty, you know, straightforward line. The only bummer is that he ended up drawing Magnemoth, which is, of course, really, really good. They can play on my turn, they can start their combo, they can search, and I don't get Albion in the grave, which really, really sucks. I do look at the hand, take away the droplet because everything else is engine. But you know, their engine is really strong and he's gonna be able to play during the end phase. I do banish it, uh, the Magnemat, just to get a Titanic Light Engrave, get a Quem on the board, get a Cartesia in hand eventually. They go for searching in Roku, summoning it, getting Pydra, and Pydra gets the field spell. They top deck Raigeki, and I decide to go for an early fusion duplication to make sure I already have interruptions on the board here. And uh, then I can get Cartesia back, which can get me a Darkness Light and Darkness Dragon Lord. So now I'm able to protect my fusions, and I have three Omni Negates and a pop. That's basically all I have. They force one with a field spell, one with a Kaiman. I don't have anything to do. They normal summon Genroku. They go into the battle phase. They just swing over my Light and Darkness Dragon Lord. Now, I do bring back a dragon, but now I have to make a decision on whether I pop immediately with Furious, which I decide I do. Because otherwise, I just lose anyway. That's what I'm thinking. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but you know, if I let them go and attack with Chandra, they just summon green, and then my Furious does nothing anyway. Um, this deck is kind of unfair sometimes, but it is what it is. I had a full board and probably mismanaged my resources. And yeah, Trident pop two, attack once. I should have also kept my monsters in attack position, to be honest. I think this would have really, really helped me um, because they, they don't get over 3,000, uh, especially without the Sang and Summoning. So I think that was my main misplay. I, I believe I could have possibly survived, but again, let me know in the comments below. We are 1-1, losing to Tenpai doesn't feel great, but it is what it is, and this is the game. We go on to round three, and uh, we win the die roll against Val Monica. A little break from very strong oppressive shifter decks for a little bit against Velmonica, which is a cool deck, but unfortunately, I feel like it kind of does nothing. Just doesn't feel like it does enough. This is the setup I go for here with this build uh, without um, the Sanctifier and the Puppet. Basically, you get a Mirror Jade, Granginiol, which usually, usually sends you either Titanic Lad for Quem, or um, adds you, searches uh, an Ad Libidum for a double Mirror Jade within red in this build. That's basically it. You don't really need more than that against most decks. It is really, really strong. Uh, I do have duplication as well. Now I can activate Lubelion, chain banishment here because I'm under a branded lost, which protects me. And then I can go into a Dragon Lord and a Furious just 
an incredible setup. Uh, I really encourage everybody to start playing this. Uh, again, we don't know if like Sanctifier is getting banned or Puppet, but I think Light and Darkness Dragonlord is just so strong. So you manage to bait out two interruptions, the attack for a thousand damage into my lad. I Mercurier, the card that just searches from the deck and places in the in the scales because it's just, just a really strong effect, you know, it's like a Wakashi type thing. Um, they do set one, just pass on nothing. I do go for an in red to pop two and activate Mirjit before to banish the Fenrir. So I get follow up in the graveyard, basically clear up his board during the end phase this is the best way to activate Guardian Chimera and they scoop it up. They go first. I side in some Ash Blossoms and stuff just because I think the deck is relatively weak. So like hand trapping them a little bit could really, really go a long way. Talents will draw them two cards, which means they're they're not doing well. Now they let me choose the effects here because they don't control the scale. So I get to choose what they actually do, which I'm not sure if uh, I always pick out the correct uh, lines, but eventually they do get to a field spell. So probably I didn't choose that wisely, but the options didn't seem too compelling anyway. So they get the scales, they summon Celetrice, they turn it into uh, an Artibus, they get the Celetrice again with the Pendulum Summon, and they just pass on SP. And it's gonna be really, really easy to deal with it there. Look at the Allure combo, Allure, Chain Opening. The opening itself will grab you the Tragedy, which you can then banish for Allure, which means you immediately get ton of value for the allure and the opening max value is possible remember that combo because that is the way to do it when you're playing allure and open uh, you know nor no normal summon and opening in the lure so yeah we go for a luber special summon the cartesia fuse it away once they activate spl on night i just go for a masquerade here it doesn't really matter because i know i just have a game on board branded fusion gets me to mirror jade banish attack for eight thousand exactly we sweep it up 2-0 versus Valmonica, and we go up into round number four versus the deck that I'm really, really scared of, to be honest, which is Ubel. You guessed it. Now, check out this amazing die roll. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was quite something. Um, so, yeah, opening to Alubur. Sorry, you can't see the graveyard. The camera moved. So, uh, yeah, uh, opening... And uh, into Tragedy, Luber gets impermed. I do manage to search up the Quem. Quem uh, dumps uh, Retribution, Branded Fusion. Uh, they show the hand for a little bit. I just combo off from here. Very, very good opener through an imperm, honestly. Um, this will provide me a lot of interruption. And I think versus Ubel, it's important you have as many as possible because they can push. Engraver gets tracked. Tracks get Lurie. And uh, Lurie gets banished immediately off of Mirror Jade. And I do send uh, Rinburn there for another interruption because I already have Albas in the grave. Now, Quam can bring back Cartesia for another layer of interruption. Nightmare Throne, summon the Samsara D Lotus. I go for a pretty early Chimera here just to get rid of the field spell as well. Um, and the Lotus force him to commit more onto the board. They chain Gruesome Grave Squirmer, um, which will resolve. And I pop two, leaving them on the Squirmer. Now they need to get the Squirmer to the Graveyard with Shavara. I just banish that because otherwise they can play. Now, look at what Ubel can do. <laughs> it's kind of oppressive because at the end of the day, they have like every interruption for each card in your hand. Like they will land on, you know, two Monster Negates or and another one with Phantom of Ubel, an Omni Negate and a Desiree. That leaves them... And you know, the, the the blue dog as well with Unchained. That's basically an interruption for every card in your hand, plus two Omni Negates. I tried, guys. I really tried. Quam, uh, Apo Negates, Thrust. They let it go through. I grab Deployment here. It's important to know that I could have gotten Dark Ruler. I, have, um, I actually have Eclipse in the hand, but if I grab Dark Ruler, I would have no play, even if it resolves. They kill me on the next turn. So they chain it here. Um, they go for the blue dog, and now with SP, I actually get chain one with Quam because the card leaves the extra deck. That's important to note. Now SP will banish itself, uh, or just uh, banish the Quam here. Now they have a, a Druze Worm from the for the Albaz. I wanted to summon for the graveyard. I do activate Branded Fusion. They chain Desiree. I chain the Eclipse here, and they chain Verudas. Yep, <laughs> that is the game. Ubel is an incredible deck at putting up really oppressive boards, and uh, yeah. Really, really stunning stuff. 
it was hard even with like three board breakers it's not just not enough i didn't search dark ruler because searching that it would would have resolved eventually now look at this combo with kit here you search kit off of your first brand that lost and then you activate kit chain retribution bring back brand infusion to the hand bring back retribution from banished with kit and put back the brand infusion into the deck you get an extra summon negate with kit super important to the combo and that was the card that eventually won me the game they make an early phantom i have a tons tons of layers of interruption here they summon dark beckoning beast that goes through they summon the lotus here now they don't have any normal summons i go for a guardian chimera because i am protected with branded lost so i can just clear out anything that is oppressive or just interrupting me from play and of course get another negate this is why you search for kit on the first turn and then lost on their turn grabs you mercurier just you know you want to get as much value as possible talent to draw to opening um discards dark beckoning beast of course they want to bring back the lotus here lotus effect i just chained the mercurier here they already normal summon and special summon as well they go for nightmare pain here they pop um i believe lotus maybe from their hand and they grab a spirit and basically they just want phantom of Ubel here this is all they wanted to do just to inflict some damage and get a negate i switch everything into attack i activate mirror jade during the battle phase they chain phantom of Ubel here i chain the called by that i had um in my hand i <laughs> actually did it before they chained it they chain magnemut to make sure it resolved and then eventually i chained the retribution to seal the deal negate the summon and win the game we win 2-1 against Ubel. very technical and interesting matchup it's just like a ton of interruption versus a ton of interruption now this now i lost the die roll in this match and game one didn't actually record so i lose game one and we're playing in the final round uh, round number five versus magical musketeer fiendsmith i have a very good setup here they go for a link into the brains which i immediately retribution because it's just too much value you have to negate it you just have to negate it now they managed to grind a lot here they honestly managed to grind a lot the deck really surprised me in how incredibly sticky it was i go for a mirror jade on the caspier here so they don't get an additional search um they chain of course uh i, I force out the prosperity the forbidden droplet that i saw off of prosperity they go for a max here i negated with the bird um, engraver comes back granguignol banishes as cost to summon Quiridus, just another layer of interruption because they they have like one or two fusions in the deck from the fiendsmith stuff they summon back another fiendsmith from the graveyard uh and we go for a branded in red under branded lost so we can clear out bodies they still have three cards in hand and this deck is just incredible now a hidden fact about link into the frames it has a graveyard effect if a monster is destroyed they can bring back a monster with the same type of attribute i believe from the graveyard to the hand they managed to get all the way up to yama dude they they play here uh i drew his worm the the monster they were trying to bring back anyway now i do manage to get up a dragon stapelia with a cartesia here under branded loss just to dodge the fact that they have the negate spell the uh, cross domination in the hand they had it so i had to activate cartesia under branded lost eventually the anguish was a really good play because it would have traded really well with a Sharvar in hand but at the end of the day they just end on a desiree which is just not enough against the amount of follow-up i have brand infusion which i'm gonna you know play again under branded lost uh, you know they they only have desiree which uh you know i have a drizzworm on the field so yeah they go first and i have a bull drake in the hand they actually go for an early very early um ddd wave high king caesar which kind of messes up with my plans here and yeah this is kind of unfortunate i it was probably a weird side deck choice to play skill drain instead of like cosmics or evenly or st something like that that probably should have been the case but you know i wanted to experiment with skill drain just because of big bodies and uh yeah i draw for turn and i get hit with the super ancient organism which is the card that is probably the hardest for branded to play around i try to ball drake to force out a negate early so my thrust is live so i can maybe get some play going and uh yeah the thrust gets hit with the magical musketeer counter trap that negates the activation gold sark and uh, of course i will go for uh, mercurier which will grab me the albion here which can grab me of course the retribution so maybe i can get to branded fusion somehow 
but Quem is met with cross-domination, which negates it and turns it also into zero. Now, this card I drew off of Albion. Uh, the reason why I activated it is because I wanted to use the Brand Fusion, but I also wanted to use the Retribution in the graveyard to bring back the in red so I can make some kind of play. Because if I didn't use that and just let him negate with DDD, bring it back with Retribution, I'm just down one card. Um, so I wasn't going to inflict battle damage anyway. I think there could have been possibly a better way to inflict some more damage here. But at the end of the day, Lacrima for time. And uh, yeah, we lose for Lacrima uh, because of Lacrima and uh, Super Ancient Organism. Sad, but this was definitely an extremely fun build and a very fun tournament to play in. So yeah, this was this week's Local Chronicles. Leave your thoughts in the comments below about the deck. Leave your comments on Sanctifier and Puppet not being in this video. I personally really enjoyed not playing them. You know, whenever a Kashtiar player grabs your extra deck to take out the Sanctifier and doesn't see it, you know they're tilted. Thank you so much for watching. Again, the deck list is on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there if you are active there. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>